baseball fans and welcome. We've got baseball coming up for Jackie Robinson Day. It's the Chicago Cubs and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Along with my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shami. Chris, today a special day on the Major League Baseball calendar, Jackie Robinson Day. Everyone on the field wearing number 42 to honor Jackie and his breaking of the professional baseball color barrier in 1947 with the Brooklyn Dodgers. Well, Boog, it's a great day for everyone in terms of just the unity that it helped to bring forth within our country, and a lot of times that's done through sport. But for me as a black player, when I think about Jackie Robinson and I think about the connection of such a great player and all of the adversity that he had to endure. Baseball's hard enough just to play, but then everything sort of on the field, off the field, and how he persevered through that, so inspiring. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now, and on the hill, Tommy Henry. Four pitch guy, he's got some options to work with in terms of keeping hitters off balance. So we'll see how he decides to utilize those weapons through this start here and whether or not he's able to mix them all in early or if he wants to hold something back a little bit later maybe second third time through the order and give them something they haven't seen it's tough when you know a guy's got that in his back pocket as a hitter you really have to stay on your toes you one on the ground out to short Sends it to first. One out in the top of the first. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know guys are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing they can get out of the ballpark with a guy who's got decent pop. One out, base is empty. Next offering is down low. The 1-1 one -one is fouled off. Kicks and deals. Swing and a miss. Adam out front for the strikeout. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically he likes to shoot the ball the other way, but that time, a little anxious. Bellinger up to hit. Swing and a ball popped up under it. Brings it in. And that is that. Cubs are down quietly. And now the Diamondbacks will get their first turn at bat. No score. Back after this on the show. Back here at Chase Field. Pitching for the Cubs in this one, Kyle Hendricks. What do we need to know here about the right-hander? Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Bottom of the first. There An outstanding go. hitter Four in Cattell Marte. As he turns on the rubber and with that good live arm delivers. A lot of pitchers have caught on to how good he is hitting the first pitch. Smart to avoid the zone right there. In for a strike. And a count even one and one. And the righty deals. On the ground to the left. And foul ball. The pitch. Ground ball right side. Mastroboni gathers and throws to first. 
They get the out on Marte. Time to take a look at the Diamondbacks lineup. This is an offense, Chris, that's having a hard time scoring runs right now. Yeah, sometimes things just aren't going to click, and unfortunately what happens is guys press, they try to do a little bit more, and they get out of their game. You've got to let the game come to you. If you chase it, it's going to run from you. So this is a team that just needs to calm down, relax, and understand that they're going to come out of this. Swing and a ball lifted in the air, shallow left field. First pitch swing in, went up there with the plan to be aggressive. I really like the approach to that swing. That was a good change up on the corner, but he recognized it early, did get jumpy, and just smacked it to the opposite field. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Here's Lourdes Gurriel Jr. In the dirt, blocked. To second, but way too late, safe there. So a wild pitch allows the runner to advance. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. Runner edges away at second. Check swing, no appeal. Now 2-0. Runner takes off. That's in for a strike. And that's a stolen base, not even close. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. Two one now. I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. The 3 1. Little chopper rolls foul. At the belt and fires. On its way to the corner. And that's a foul ball. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Fires the first on the run. Now two away as they get a run across. That right there was pre-pitch preparation by the base runner. Excellent job. He knew that he was going on contact once he saw the ball down. If he hesitates at all, the defense has an option to go home and try to cut him off. But a really nice job of base running. Christian Walker stands in now and watches strike one. Two outs, base is empty. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. Field two. Fights it off, you'll see another. The wind of the pitch. Cut on and miss, struck him out. Third out, and that ends the frame. So it's one run on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. On to the second inning here in the desert. It's the Diamondbacks one and the Cubs nothing. And we're back. Now the third baseman, Christopher Morell. Christopher Morell. Henry back to work. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. I think he wanted that call in the upper part of the zone, but just didn't get it. Now he's just trying to get a better feel for how much it missed, so he can adjust his sights just a little bit. Oh. Two balls, no strikes to count. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Kicks and fires. And a foul ball. 
Makes the count two and one. A wide to kick the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The pitch. And a swing and a miss. Now one away. Man, there was no deviating from the fastball right there. He just kept coming after him with it. Here it is. Hit it if you can. And he just couldn't find a way to put it in play. And here's the first baseman, Michael Bush. That one fouled off. Left-hand batter waits. There's a swing and a drive. And that gets down into the gap. Around first, heading for two. And it's a double. Their first hit in this one. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I'll tell you. Man, it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Dansby Swanson in the box now. Take strike one. With the tying run at second, here at the top of the second. Into center, Carroll moving under it, snags it for the second out. That is cutting. The left mover, Mike Talkman. Here's Mike Talkman. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate and try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. And that drops in for a strike. That's in there. 0 oh and 2. Perhaps not quite ready to hit. First two pitches by him for a couple of strikes. Now back is against the wall. He's going to have to figure something out and figure it out quickly. Lifted in the air down the left side. And that'll fall for a base hit. The throw to second. Not in time. He's safe as a run scores on the play, and that ties the game. Okay. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat, just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. So, runner at second, two down. And now it's Miguel Amaya. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Man at second. And yeah, that's outside. One ball, one strike. Runner at second, two down. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Guriel handles the chance. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. All even now at 1-1. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here in the desert, bottom half of inning number two. A Eugenio Suarez up to hit down. Here comes a pitch. And that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole. He's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. Got 
got him swinging. Make quick work of him right there, Siggy. I know that's the kind of a bat maybe leaves a lot of fans wondering, what was he doing up there, right? Yeah, and I get that. I mean, you take two straight strikes, then chase one way out of the zone. It's it's just not a good at bat. It'll leave you shaking your head as a hitter, if not worse. But there's always going to be those trips to the plate where you're just lost up there, and that was one of them for sure. Randall Gritchick now. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. And he deals. Oh. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Hard hit to third. In time to Bush. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. Blaze Alexander stands in now for the Diamondbacks. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Two down, nobody on. Bottom half of inning number two. This one smacked out to left center. Tuckman makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Nothing doing for Arizona. Score remains tied 1 1. And welcome back to the ballpark. Now it's the second baseman, Miles Mastroboni, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. The wind of the pitch. Bravo. Hit hard on the ground is short. Fires across yeah. the diamond and one away in the top of the third. Now batter, the designated hitter, Ian Hatt. Ian Hap up to hit. The Hap Daddy. Pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0 and 1. And ball one. Ball to strike. On the inside corner for a strike. The pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. All tied up. We're here in the top half of inning number three. A defensive swing right there. Some cheese on the inside part of the plate. But the hands are still stinging after that one. The wind of the pitch. Up the middle. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. No, oh, he's in there. Sorry. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Man at first with one gone. Seiya Suzuki, the next cup. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Cut on and miss. Throw. Save. Barnhart too late with that one. One out and a runner at second. Next pitch is downstairs. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. The 2-1. That one hooked foul. 
Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Out to short. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Definitely a tough play, but he seems to have had a little trouble getting rid of it, and that made all the difference. And with the speed running up the line, you got to be perfect, and right there, he just couldn't get it there in time. And up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger. In there, and it's on one. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. The lead runner out at second, Suzuki, over at first, so one away. They tried to get him to chase on a slider, down and away. And he takes one right on the black. One and two. And a pitch. And another ball. Hit into center field. Around third. Here comes the throw. And he's in there as they jump ahead and run scores. Well, there you go. The RBI machine. Another clutch run scoring at bat. Yeah, he's been so good in these situations. Call it clutch if you want, but his resume speaks for itself. So two in scoring position with one out. And next for the Cubs, Christopher Morrell. Check swing. Now we'll look down to first. And he won around. Just enough that time. Right through there for a strike. That misses. One and two to count. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much a low two count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. One down. Rudders at second and third. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 2-2. Two -two. Slider misses Great. outside. Michael Bush on deck for the Cubs. Two on, one out. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Eighth pitch of the at-back coming up. Stays alive. Got him swinging. He chased the changeup. Huge strikeout there. Unafraid to throw it right there. That's trusting your stuff. Just one out away from getting out of a huge jam. And up next for Chicago, Michael Bush. A double and a run scored his first time up. That one's in there. Four one. One straight. Two outs, two in scoring position. Left-hand hitter waits. And a swing and a miss. Inning over, and it could have been worse. Cubs pick up a run on the RBI double. And the home team down a run. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chase Field, and now the batter is Tucker Barnhart. The catcher, Tucker Barnhart. And the right-hander back to work. 
inside oh, just ball. missed. One ball, no straight. Looking to get the tying run on base. Edge of the zone for a strike. And a count, one and two. The pitch. Foul ball still, one and two count. And a right-hander deals. Swings, through it, and that's a strikeout. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden, that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is, because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. Kevin Newman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Holding on to a one-run lead here in the last half of the third. Swing and a miss, and it's one and one. And that one fouled off. And a pitch. And another ball. That's inside. Cattell Marte waits on deck. One down, base is empty. That's to third. Tosses to first, and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Here's Cattell Marte. He's 0 for 1. Outside. Next offering is downstairs. And a good eye there. Corbin Carroll waiting for a turn at the plate. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. That one finds the zone. And the count is three and one. Line drive base hit. And that extends the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages, working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Two outs, runner at first. Corbin Carroll stands in now for the Diamondbacks. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. One ball, no strike. Squirts away a little bit. Tag safe at second. And good hustle to move up. That's a wild pitch. Can't imagine he's too happy with that one on the mound. Just one pitch after giving up the single, he basically turns it into a double. So the tying run is second. And it's even up. Man on second, two down. And a count one and two.
Right into the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Righty delivers. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where pitchers would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. And downstairs. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three-hole hitter coming up if he's walked. And the righty deals. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. Here comes Marte around third. He'll score. The Diamondbacks tie it up. It's 2-2. Huge at bat to bring home the tie and run at this point in the game. Once you get the ball by the pitcher, there's a lot of base hits up the middle, even on ground balls. So a nice job to use that big hole and get himself a hit. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. And it's Lourdes Goriel Jr. Grounded out his first time. And there's the strike. first with two away. That misses. Going to count one and two. And that's in the dirt. Well, with the amount of pitches that can end up in the dirt, a good secondary lead doesn't have to get away from the catcher. But if you're anticipating based off the trajectory, get yourself in the scoring position. Christian Walker up next. And a pitch. And ball four to a board. Well, that could be a big walk in this ball game. Moves the go-ahead run into scoring position. So some pressure pitches coming up in this next A-B. And now it's Christian Walker. Struck out swinging his first time. It's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion, and he's in full speed. Close one, doesn't get the call. One and oh. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. To the right side, Mastroboni. In plenty of time to first, and that'll keep more runs from coming in, inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. And we're deadlocked now at two apiece. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Start of the fourth. Dansby Swanson stands in. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Vanderbilt player in college, college World Series player, all that good stuff, but really coming into his own. And now it's even up. One ball, one strike. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One, two now. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again.
The lefty fires. Right side, hard hit. Newman to first in time. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. Now the left fielder, Mike Tockman. That one not close. And that is ball one. And a strike on the outside edge. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And they count one and two. Manning really sells the changeup with that arm action. And another ball. Base is empty one away. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Miguel Amaya, the next Cub to hit. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Swing and a miss. Chased it out of the zone. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. On now to the bottom of the fourth. We are tied 2-2. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. The right-hander back to work. That one off the mark, and that's ball one. Yeah, there's the strike. One ball, one strike. And here it comes. Fall off foul. The wind of the pitch. Got him looking. One gone here. Got the batter now. Randall Gritchen. Grounded out his first time up. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Right-hander kicks, deals. And that one is lifted in the air. Sizing this one up. Squeezes it. And a couple of quick outs. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Blaze Alexander. 0 for 1 so far. Oh. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball oh, one. No. That one finds the zone. And the count one and one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. On the ground to third, Morell. Tosses across the first. That ends the frame. And the Diamondbacks down in order. Score remains deadlocked at 2 2. the second baseman Miles Mastroboni and there's one thing on his mind this at bat getting that first hit at the big league level 
Henry back to work. Way outside, ball one. The Diamondbacks with some movement in the pen. Brandon Fack, the hard throwing righty, is up and loosening. Number 42, getting loose as well. Kicks and deals. Clips the corner. That's strike one. And fouled off. And now the lefty. Not even close there. It's two and two. Wouldn't chase that time. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Ian Happ waiting to hit for the Cubs. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Three two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Outside and that is ball four. It wasn't easy but he earned that walk after a long at bat. Well he's starting to look a little gas to me and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot or not. Here's the Cubs lead off man Ian Happ. A switch hitter batting right. And that one fouled off. In for a strike. And it's nothing in two. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece and stays alive. With the go ahead run at first, and we're in the top of the fifth. Got him looking for the strikeout. He's got to be frustrated with that call. A big strikeout right there, and maybe a little controversial with the call. I think he got a little bit of favor on the mound. No question about it. It's not exactly what you want to see in a big spot like that, and I'm sure there's some chirping going on from the dugout, making it clear that wasn't his best call behind the plate today. And now it's going to be Seiya Suzuki. First pitch, and he just misses. At the belt and fires. And yeah, there's the strike. One and one. Master Boney leads off first with one away. That's outside. And a count two and one. Back to back breaking pitches away. You get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. To first, and he breaks for second. Throws it away. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Tag, got it. Aggressive base running there, trying to take advantage of the defense, but he's out at third. Two down, nobody on. Center field. Carroll moving under it. Makes the grab. And that's the third out. Back here in the desert, John Shelby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five, Tucker Barnhart. Here comes a pitch. On the ground right side. In time to Bush. And the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. If you want to be a great defense, you have to deliver consistently. It doesn't matter how many highlight reel plays you make if you can't execute the small stuff just like we saw. 
The batter now, Kevin Newman. He's 0 for 1. And a strike. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. He usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That strike right there. two out really love the pitch sequence right there I'm telling you what pitcher and catcher on the same page right now could tell Marte up to the plate one for two foul off left side The mark there. One and one. one, ball, one strike. All tied up. Last half of inning number five. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Righty to the plate. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Struck him out swinging. That's the third out, and we'll play extra innings in this one. So one, two, three, go the Diamondbacks. And this game is still tied at two and two. Brandon Fack takes over on the mound. He's been so good against lefties. Go ahead, run on base. Here's Cody Bellinger. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. And a pitch. And a big swing and a miss. Extra no innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning, and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error, and Boog, to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. In the dirt, but kept close. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Man at second. And another ball. And he deals. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. Headed for the plate. He will score, and they take the lead. Three to two. Well, they didn't waste any time as they knock home the runner from second to get on the board. Huge for team confidence and how you approach the situation. Still have a guy on base, and now they'll try to add one. No outs. Runner at first. Christopher Morell digs in now. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. In for a strike. 0-1. Oh, one on, nobody out, a run in, and we're at the top half of the sixth. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Got it! Really had to move for that grab. And there's one away. Good. 
And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. Three pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. Pickoff move to first. Oh, Bellinger back easily. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Rip to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. And now the shortstop, Dansby Swanson. And that curveball drops in there for a strike. One run across in the frame so far. And here in extra innings. Throw to first. Bellinger dives back. Right-handed reliever. Not close with that one. And it's one and two. And that just misses. That one called just inside, I think, and on the mound, he's trying to get a little bit of an explanation. Doesn't seem to be too bothered by it, though, but he clearly thought it clipped the corner. The pitch. In the air to left, down the line. Guriel has it sized up. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And that'll do it. So one run in the inning on this base hit. It's now a 3-2 ball game. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back now, and on the mound, the closer, Adbert Alzali. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. This is Corbin Carroll, third baseman playing on the edge of the grass, looking for the sack bunt. The pitch. What a note. In the dirt. But no advance. That's ball one. So the tying run at second. Little chopper rolls foul. The pitch. Hit hard, that gets through. Coming home. The throw in. It's off the mark, and he scores. It's 3-3. Three, three. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. Well, there, he doesn't try to do too much. Here's Guriel. Here goes the runner. Pitch in for a strike. Whoa, save. That's his stolen base. Here's what I think the manager's thinking right now. Today, we're not driving the ball. It's hard to get extra base hits. We've got to make something happen to get a runner in a scoring position. That stolen base, excellent call. Now, all it takes is perhaps a single to put a run on the board. The winning run on second base. Throw to third. Save. You know, this game, you got to take what the other team is giving you. And right there, they were giving him a steal at third base. Didn't check his lead. Catcher doesn't throw very well. So you got to take that bag. Get your team that much closer to scoring a run. Oh, and two now. Oh. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Hector Neris up and throwing for manager Craig Council. Number 42, a left-hander, also throwing.
Here's a one two. Fouls it back with two strikes. And the pitch. Fights that one away, still one and two. And the righty deals. That ball is foul, and the pressure is building. And a pitch. Oh. And another ball. Two, two. two, two now. Just misses the mark outside the zone. Christian Walker waiting to hit for the D-backs. Righty delivers. Fouls that off to the left and will do it again. There, you have to be ready to swing the bat. You can walk it off if you're just a little more aggressive. Christian Walker stands in now for the Diamondbacks. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Left field. Topkin on the move. Brings it in. Runner tagging and heading for home. The winning run crosses the plate and the Diamondbacks walk it off and win it 4-3. These can be tough at bats when you know you've got to get the ball in the air at worst case scenario. That pitcher is going to try to tie you up, throw you up and in. But he did a good job pulling the hands through. Extension to put that ball deep enough out into the outfield to score that run and win this game. Three, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Chomby saying so long.